Okay, guys. Hey guys, uh, it's me, Bailey. Uh, entering the live studio now, so I can actually. Allow, allow. Is everyone. Okay, testing, testing. I'm still learning Restream, so please forgive me while I um, test this out right now. I am going to be building a tower defense mini game this afternoon, which is, should be a lot easier than building a massive, you know. Okay, good. Okay, that... So, Restream is working. Now, let me just go to my game. Okay. Now, uh, what should we work on first? Well, this is the Cruiser. So bar is... Player. Too many languages I use. Way too many languages. Okay, so the idea of this mini game is to test out a gameplay mechanic that I want to integrate into my main game. Then I'll put this on itch.io as a simple mini game, and will be on Google Play, um, F Droid, and Main Play Store, possibly the iOS store if I can get a Mac and sign it on there. Um, it's going to be open source under the GPL. The art is not going to be covered in the data, so you know. Just have fun with the game. Just have fun. Just, you know, it's something simple. It's just a portfolio project for me and a template project. But I do want to make money on this because why not? I mean, free as sweet doesn't equal free as and free beer. And I do have to make a living somehow. I'm going to do some experimental, you know, features that I want to play in multiple games. Uh, the engines, I need to get the essentially the normal of that bit right there. To determine if they're forward thrust, backwards thrust, upper thrust, or downwards thrust. I'm going to be building an indie component system in here. Uh, and what they'll do is simply add to the forward speed, backwards to left and right speed um, of the how much you can accelerate based on, you know, the engines. Um, these will be turrets, which will be another, you no know, component, essentially. They'll either be a beam weapon or a pulse weapon. So it could be a rail gun, a laser beam weapon, a plasma pulse weapon, a plasma beam weapon. Um, anything you want, really. I want to create, a, like, a rock reserves mechanic for this. Something very simple, nothing complicated. Just stuff we already know how to do. Uh, other games. Not read I'm, not, I'm implementing these mechanics as a mini game, so I don't have to. How should I say this? Reinvent the wheel when I do this later. And when I implement my main space game, Interstellar Despot Simulator, I want to implement it as a Rust module, so it can be at machine speed, so I can call it uh, from a shared I shared object library in GD script or in maybe C sharp for you know increased performance. Uh, I want the complicated algorithms, anything from CPU intensive done in C or Rust. Um, so just go origin action planning, binary procedural tree, uh, AI tree, basically the machine AI, 
whether it's machine learning or genetic algorithm or it's a state machine with whatever augmentation, that takes a lot of CPU. That should be in C. Anything to do with physics, I pretty much decided it needs to be done in C for my bigger projects because I want a boatload of stuff going on. But again, simpler projects like web projects or web PWAs, those need to be GDScript for now because that's not supported in Godot, um, you know, C Sharp or a simple uh, GDScript. But that's, you know, it's fine. Uh, I like working with C, but you know, like rent less. I like working with Rust. I mean, it has been a while since I use Rust, but I really like using it. That's why I like. I just really like it. So the idea um, is to create you know, these like point defense weapons, these main DACA, and maybe like a row, like a strip here. There will be just VLS tubes for missile launchers that can fire you know, heat seeking missiles. And I want to create a drone mechanic. Um. And those will be in all of my space games. I'm going to build like a family of space games. Some of them mobile, some of them desktop, some of them are going to work on console. Some of them are going to optimize for like Raspberry Pi, single board computers, like this thing. I love freaking emulator games on this. I have an ARM Linux laptop over there. And as there's more and more ARM laptops coming out, we need more and more ARM support. Uh, Linux and apps, you know, Chrome OS is just a crappy version of Linux, so if it runs my Chromebook, it should run on a Linux, Chrome, uh, on, on ARM Chromebooks, ARM Macs, I'll eventually support ARM Windows, but I'm not a big Windows fan, I, as we know, we, this is, I'm streaming this, uh, I'm showing this on the independent game subreddit, like the itch.io game subreddit, and the, but much you would call it, um, Indie game subreddit, so uh, oh, Godot game subreddit, um, Linux game subreddit, itch.io subreddit. I'm gonna put it in F Droid because I am gonna have an F Droid version. I don't know how I'm planning on monetizing the Google Play Store version. I know there are some apps that are on F Droid that are open source. They they have non relevant ads on them. It's allowed on the F Droid Store. I really don't want that. I'd rather just crowdfund in Patreon, but. Normies aren't going to spend money on an app. Normies aren't going to do that. That's why normies get spied on all the time. It's really annoying. Uh, okay, so, so, so. Back to my dashboard. Let's see how the stream's going. I have two watching on... Uh, what's a Metropolitan? Um, how, how, do you, how does anyone, how does, how will do people, how does this, what do you think is better? F. Droid or itch. I'm sorry, I'm just asking. I'm trying to get some feedback from the streams for my to inform my app development, so sorry if it's a little bit eh. Um Okay, so let me get back to my game screen. I'm running multiple windows right now. Okay. So what do you need to do first? Well we need uh, this is the player scene. So is player true? Uh, I want this to really be the cruiser, not the player scene. So I'll have to on. save scene as. Wait, wait. Can I save scene as? Hold on. Yeesh. Am I really blind? <laughs> I must be. Oh, here we go. Click on the wrong spot. Cruiser. Cruiser. I want the player to start as a cruiser, so this is going to be a cruiser. Okay. This is the basic cruiser setup. 
Now I need to create the drone. I'm gonna, uh, not the drone. I'm gonna create the, I'm gonna create everything in this uh, mini game out of just plain primitives. Uh, it's again, it's a mini game. It doesn't have to be awesome. I can get some textures later to style it up. This is gonna be a mini game I'm gonna build in the week. If you guys really like the mini game, but you absolutely hate the. Um, What's it called? Um, uh, cruiser, cruiser, cruiser. Yeah, let's get the code in. People like that. Um, I'm parented the object, the camera right now. So the camera as a parent is a problem. That's what we said a lot. So max speed bar min speed equals like 10. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I have the drone thing worked up. This is gonna be carrier. So, have a collision shape, which is going to be cube. And yes, yes, I must have a mesh. Mesh, for instance. And that's going to be a cube as well. Cube. Okay, this is the core of the ship. Now I need to create a, another module, a carrier. Well, there's something. All these start with the ship core. But I want the ship core to be different because of mass and class. I'm thinking like cruisers are lighter ships, uh, and then there's gonna be uh, like um, different variants of cruisers. You know, your battle cruiser will just be a cruiser with more guns and less speed. A strike cruiser is more cr speed, and a stock cruiser is a balance between speed and firepower. In real life, a cruiser is not like a a death battleship. Think of a battleship, you strip off the armor and you just have guns and speed. So a strike cruiser would be short ranged but fast. Gets there, does damage, gets out. Battle cruiser, not that not that um, fast. It's slower that a strike cruiser but still faster than a carrier, or sorry, bleh, 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 faster than a battleship and does more damage. That's the idea. Um, then if you have a carrier, carriers should just carry stuff. This is space. So if you have through deck hangers, right? If you have a through deck hangar, it can launch a lot of drones. Then there's no theory why you shouldn't also be able to have make some some point defense weapons, maybe some offensive missiles. But then again, you're carrying drones. Why do you need missiles? The idea of this game is to have mobs of drones. But if the, I'll have a feature or game of mechanic for the drone, if the drone doesn't have enough um, charge to come back because it runs off of energy. Don't know why, don't ask me why, just keep it simple. If it has enough charge to come back, it will just come causing to something. Which, what makes every you know missile cruiser, uh, sorry, drone carrier a missile cruiser, and you could have the drones being VLS tubes. Really, then why would you need a dedicated thing? Should that be a module? So I could make this modular, 
but I do want a size difference. I want things to be scaled differently, and I want the dedicated carriers to be your, your capital ship, your super caps. Why do you need super caps? Well, because I say we need super caps. <laughs> it's my game. And then here's the, that's the turret. And these are, you know, they get the engines, get the heat radiators, which of course would radiate heat. Weapon, turret, turret has a weapon on it. Radiators. Um, this is the station, it's just a temporary thing. You want to defend your station and destroy the enemy stations. So it's it's not it's like station siege plus station defense. Uh, you know, uh, tower defense plus tower siege. You're sieging enemy towers while trying to destroy your towers. Um, you have to gather resources, but you have to also scrap things. There's the scrap mechanic will give you, you know. Um, Technology from the other guys, and that's like kind of much the idea. You get tech from the other people by scrapping their stuff. Um, no, I need a. Hmm. And then we need to. Uh, Turret. Only one. And you do four. Do do da do da do da do da. Let's see what angle are you rotated at. This weird thing. A hundred and five degrees, huh? A hundred and five degrees. One oh five. For some reason, I highly doubt that's... I borked this up. I don't know why that is that way. Interesting. Stop, stop, stop. I think it's in global space. That's the problem. Okay, I may just go for a different station design, but I thought that was pretty. Uh, there's going to be a mechanic where you will... I'll just queue that one free. Yeah, we'll have that. Duplicate, then move down. And then we rotate on the Z axis, 180 degrees. Move that in. Move that in. Four and eight. Okay, well, we got turrets, we got dock on all directions, and we got for the Got station wings because I spin this thing to spin in the background, just have a slight spin on it. And then. Okay. Now we just need to be able to fly around in game. Oh, 
Hold on, we need to open, we don't need to open, we need to find the drone. Drone to TSEN. Here is the drone scene. That's the alien drone scene. Honestly, we don't need to have... Drones are supposed to be controlled by whatever faction. And they could be hacked, so that, that we don't need... We don't need that. Remove that. Station, we need the station. There's gonna be some... Flare. Throw that in ships. So, cruiser, carrier, drone. Um, I mean, the new folder, um, new folder, um, ECS. I'm going to throw one. You have those going to the ECS folder. Oh, what? Did I break something? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh. This is the Proxima system. I, I may only have one system in this game. Um. So NPCs, okay. We have enemy ships. And this is gonna be the base cruiser. And I'll have it in here, and this will be the base drone. I'm gonna rework this base drone scene to use the other components. Base cruiser, base drone, and then I'll have ally drone. Really, should just inherit from that, and then I want the drones to be hackable, but I think manned ships should not be hackable. Hmm. How is my thing doing? Uh, do do do. You guys all watching my thing on Twitch? How is everyone doing? And YouTube. How? Uh, how is the stream? Quality. Okay, I'm using stream quality. Try to straight out the stream. Do a test on stream quality. Hold on. Hold on, dude. Do, do, do. And the races is loaded. Okay. This is going to be a temporary setup, having a dedicated player class, rather than have everything as, you know, is player. Because I think the player should be able to jump and control and manipulate them, 
I think I, I think that would be better. Even the stations, like have safe defenses be player controllable. But this is a temporary setup. We'll test that out. I'm gonna try just removing that. Um, inputs. Let's say. Eval plus the pull. Okay. We need to an input. Event if event. How is I can spell correctly today? Event is dot action. This would be keyboard. Now, how would I handle touch screen? We'll handle touch screen later. I want is X OS OS dot to get X X How do you spell accelerometer? Uh Google Accelerometer. The dot ducks. Dot ducks. I should know better. Unfortunately, I can never remember. Inputs, input events. <sighs> it's quickly exposed, closing your game, cut the keys, hints. Okay. Do, 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 do. Input, event action, event screen drag, event screen touch, event joypad button, event joypad motion, event mouse motion, event ma mouse button, event key, event, okay. Do, do, do. Let's try multi threading, hold on. environment. I never use get environment. Um, get power percent left. Whoa. Power seconds left. 
and I immediately see things I can do that I didn't know what I wanted like to do in um can't execute get virtual keyboard height that's a lot of stuff I can do that I don't really know if I think a person should be able to do I mean yeah but I mean like this will get executable path if I can get executable path, in theory, I can get the path to any executable. Shell open. <laughs> St URL string. Ooh. <laughs> Should I put my Patreon page in there? <laughs> hey, if you want to support the developer, doink. <laughs> open that. Get around the App Store. Pretty quickly. We'll do that later. But also, okay. So, um, hey guys, what do you think about? Um, okay, we got a stream going. What I'm doing, in case you guys are new to the stream, I am. Building a kind of a mini game. Do you think the airplane in space trope would be good? Or do you think the uh, actual six DOS style for a mobile game? This is going to be a mini game for PC and mobile, be on F Droid, Google Play Store, alternatives to the Google Play Store, maybe iOS. It will be on F Droid for download for mobile and for desktop. And I want to have on Android TV, um, I'll fire up, I'll get it to work on a Raspberry Pi Zero. I'll have to do some optimization for that for this mini game. It's a side project. I want it to work on iOS. And because even though I hate Apple with a passion, normies like iOS more than they do anything. So, meh. I support those people, I guess, even though my gut tells me to let them go without apps. My wallet tells me, give them apps. <sighs> so, do you think Airplane and Space Trope or the 6 DOS? 6 DOS or Airplane in Space? And again, I'm designing this for the common masses, not my hardcore enthusiast people. So, I think Airplane in Space would be better. Okay, pass. Okay, let's just say... Okay, X. Bar. Turn speed equals ten. Okay. I'm gonna just have a gyroscope functionality, so gyroscope. Get the gyro on in adopt. Gen. We need to get better tutorials on this. I am trying to use gyroscope, blah, 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 DualShock 4, no, no, no. Okay, I think my inputs. Warp mouse position. Okay, that sounds cool. Vibrate handle, stop. Hmm. This is most of programming people, just reading the docs half the time. I need to get a vector 
based on gyroscope input. Okay, I can call it JavaScript. That's a variant. Okay, cool. Multiplayer API. That'd be interesting to throw in. That's why I want to keep things as kinematic bodies so I can easily have multiplayer. Is there a lack on the stream, guys? Is there a problem with the stream? No, no. Tower defense. Oh, the duh. So another vote on Reddit. Okay. Well, I'll I'll get the gyroscope act as the next stream. Um, if vent. Is Mint signal, okay. Well, I'll have to have that text screen later. Is in threat in it? Ooh. Is action? Is action pressed? Let's try. Oh, okay, let's just create some. Ins yeah. Project settings. Yeah, of course, I'm going to write a boot screen. Da 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 da. Do do scripts. Do do I? Threads, hold on. Single save, single unsafe, multi. I prefer multi thread to the truth of the cell. Uh, let's get some so cell certs in here. Sign the code. Uh, audio, default audio bus layout. Yeah, I'm running Linux, so I'm running Pulse Audio. Driver Pulse. Okay, input map. Boost. And we're gonna put a key as in shift. We'll add a console key later. Draw your button. I will add 
add that. Okay. So what a virtual joystick, one for Excel, one for Excel and D cell, one for you know, airplane is supposed to make it con easily controllable on mobile. So on mobile, you're going to have, you know, y'all, bank, up and down, and then you'd. Use one for targeting and one for firing. Like, use like, um, touch screen joystick to control where your weapons are pointing. They'll have an auto walk on feature. You either will fire real missiles or you'll assign a, a fleet to attack, a squad to attack it. And then you can go into over picture mode and have like a, 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 a scroll, navigate, you'll know, click, tap, attack that. Tap, attack that. I'm um, trying to make it a reasonable mobile game. Because the experience I'm going for for my other games are purely desktop and don't work on console, don't work on mini console. And once you get it worked on mobile and console, it's easier to remap for the much obviously superior desktop because you have more input controls. You can have the mobile touch screen. I could build a app for touch screen control, build a, a console app. Like a, a controller app for the thing on TV, for a mini game console, for whatever, and I want that. I want to build a mini, a micro game, so I want to have my own uh, micro gaming console uh, running Linux to get more people developing for Linux. Um, that's one of the things I want to do. So I need to have an easy way to, for running it. So an easy way of set up your own you no know, game controller, uh, and our own game console, uh, and more people will develop for it. Men can dream, can't we? Make it, even I just make it easy to run emulators on Raspberry Pi and play emulator games like a console. I think that would, in, you know, um, be good because you know reasons. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with airplane in space trope for this. It's designed for. Normies. Uh, throttle. So you have boost and we have throttle. And then we have shield. Toggle. Now in most of my games, I do not have any sort of Clark Tech. Um, Clark Tech is going to be in here. Because Clark Tech. People like it. So. UI up, down, left, and right will be used for thrusts for banking up, down, left, and right. Well, up and down and turning. And we need something for roll. But that could be a, a button for rolling, right? That could be a fancy button. Like, keep it simple for normies, because normies can't play complicated PC games. Which is a sad, sad state of affairs. That you're an elite user of a computer. If you, one, can install an operating system, forget installing Arch Linux. Which is actually pretty easy to do. And for my personal sanity, I'm switching back to Arch. I'm right now running uh, a Debian-based system, and I've been trying to do a lot of native development on, well, on Lin a Mac OS is a pain in the butt. Even developing for iOS on Mac OS with their development tools, it's easier on Linux. <laughs> At least on Arch Linux. <laughs> because I can, you know, install through AUR OXX Cross and have it up and running in no time. And that is simply not the case on, well, many OS's. So, okie dokie. Okay, go back to my thing. Okay. You want accept, do, 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 do. This is a good layout. Good for mobile, good for console. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Um, we need to have a... 
pooped. Shield, toggle, throttle. I need to get the strength of the th Ah. Ooh. Nothing important. Um, where was I going? Ranting? Ranting much? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one, this is going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be streaming this mini game all week. It's development. I'm going to build a course on how to build a mini game in a week, maybe, based on this footage, but edited and some other footage out there. Um, I'm going to probably create a course on Udemy for setting up a development environment in Rust for iOS and Android development and doing it all on Linux and cross-compiling. It would work better on Arch because Arch, I mean, it's Arch. Once you get the, the hurdle of setting up Arch, it's a lot easier for most stuff. Okay, do 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 do. So shield toggle. Why do you want the shield toggle button to be, guys? This can be remapped, of course. I mean, that's not a feature in mobile games because of the tyranny of mobile games. But I may offer that. Joy button to... Uh, I'm already using... Okay, I'm already using Xbox B, so DualShock Circle X. Oh, it's a Nintendo B. Oh, okay, well Xbox B. You know B is good for boost. A boost. You know what? This. Oh, I got this wrong. No, this. No, no, no. Throttle needs to be a joy axis. And it needs to be... Well, it needs to be the normalized vector of left stick up and left stick down, really. Or the normalized vector of, like, push the thing forward and push the thing back. Or something to that nature, maybe. What do you guys think for the mobile control? Because this is going to be a primarily a mobile game and then set up for ported to console um, console and all that. This is going to be a mini game in the same universe, my big space game. And I'm thinking about having ability to use the mini game to like speed run through certain things because the desktop game is going to be very complicated. It will have seed features and stuff to allow for speed running. But if you have a mini, <laughs> I want it to be hard. I don't want speedrunners to beat it a day. I want a speed run to be a month. <laughs> you know, I want it to be hard. <laughs> so, uh, a tool, you know, for that to help out, that'd be cool. Maybe like an offline empire management thing where we're just, you know, managing. We'll do something. We'll do something. Uh, throttle. Left stick. I don't know. Left stick. Up. Throttle. Up. is to be a joy, a joy button of Xbox A, uh, Xbox X. Throttle up, throttle down, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
Do 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 do. Okay, this should be enough for now. Is action pressed? Is that what? Hold on, <laughs> idiot. Oh, UI up. I need to search for it. Yeah, UI up is a thing. UI up. If input is UI up. Okay. have Excel. Var X L. For, for accelerate. That will be the name calculated later. We're hard coding it for now. Okay, I mean if it's UI up. This is airplane in space, so if you need to, you need to um, rotate you need to rotate on the z-axis no One. Vol. Z. Equals. Trans. Transform dot self dot transform dot faces dot z no z times max speed. And for some reason, negative is forward in this game. Ooh. Well, that's a bug. Why am I getting a blank screen? Invalid index Z. Where? Delta, that helps.
There is a Z property. Meh. I could crap on that. Plus equal. Times. That's speed. Yay! <laughs> the most minor accomplishment done. You wipe up. Self dot rotate vector three dot up no 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 this is be the right for reasons um Uh, turn speed modulo max, max speed. Let's just try that. How did I handle? Okay, I'm going to shamelessly link some code from an old, from something else. Hold on. Files. Oh. Good thing I wrote this code so it's not me stealing from someone else. 
Just taking something out of a project that I forgot all about. Do, 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 do. You are some here. Um. I know. I'm working on my beautiful, beautiful game. I'm working on a filthy, filthy mobile game. Hold on. Open with that. Editor. Zero dot five. I'm doing it right. Rotate object. Low. Let's rotate object local and zero dot five. Oh, okay. Why the ask is one shot. That's my character getting floating point numbers issues. Okay. Max speed. Val dot z equals that Hold on. Let's comment that out. Process input is action is action pressed UI. UI way up dot uh, uh, object local self rotate object local. If input is action pressed, it's in here somewhere. There we go. You lie up. Okay, object local.
That 0, 5 seems to work. Okay. Okay. You. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Doggo. I know, Baxter, you don't understand what work is, but come on, buddy. Well, stream, just as I'm starting to get things interesting and figure out how I'm going to build this game, Doggo decides Doggo wants to do Doggo things. Doggo, you ruin everything. You ruin everything. You ruin everything. You're my baby. I love my baby. I love my baby. Now be gone. Be up. Well, okay, I'm going to order some pizza or something and make dinner and 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 and. Life in any game developer is never easy, uh, especially one with a conscious who doesn't want to monetize his game through manipulative in-app purchase strategies. And again, I'm not to take a hard time with people, but then again, people are a, are surprisingly statistical in their behavior, and I can understand patterns and data very easily. Um, so, just let you know what you think about the six degree of freedom versus the airplane and space trope. Um, I think for mobile games and console games, the airplane and space trope is better. But I want my desktop game to definitely be six DOS. If possible. Maybe we can have um, the six DOS on a mobile game by thrust forward, thrust backward, rotate. And then have virtual joy pads. And I'll try that for the desktop, the mobile version of a desktop game. But I'm going to make a mobile version of a simple game so far. I'm going to be making streams like this all the time. So every day streaming. Every day. So well, I guess I'm stopping the stream to get some food and see what the doggos want me to do. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube video if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Discord channel coming soon. I prefer you follow me on Odyssey and Mastodon and Matrix because if I get banned, which I am paranoid if that would happen or not, even though I'm not doing anything controversial, you never know with these people. If I get banned, I have my own platform. So follow me there. Um, if you want to make, uh, want these mobile apps, I mean, quality mobile apps and be ad free, please support me on Patreon or donate to my, um, Bitcoin or something or crypt, whatever. I have a donation crowdfunding system on my website, uh, being reworked coming soon. I have, you know, we could just, and you could just buy a game, just buy three binaries, you know, da, ah, just do that. Also, I'm a Linode affiliate, so there will be my Linode affiliate link down in the link below if you want to spin up a game server or something. I don't care. Do what you want. I am going to build the multiplayer of my games as a one-click deploy app on Linode. So, if you like my games, and you like the multiplayer, and you don't want to deal with weird people on multiplayer public servers, you can have your private server. I'm going to make sure the Steam version has private servers in the Steam group only. I'm going to have Discord group integration to, into the uh, multiplayer. I will have my own Matrix wrapper around it for people who want privacy. And for people who don't care, I'm going to have the dystopian hell version of the thing, which will be, you know, the dystopian cyberpunk hell we live in. And for people like me who've taken the red pill, just buy it. <laughs> Or participate in the crowdfunding. 
Or something. You know? Something! <laughs> Other than, please don't make me monetize these apps with dystopian hell spyware nonsense. I hate that. I don't want to be a hypocrite. Please don't make me do it. But I have to buy food. <laughs> I have 